I opened a, a Blackburn exhibition in London. Or perhaps I closed it with a poem. I'd written something for Arthur Boyd, and Charles wanted me to write something for him as well, which I did gladly. And it's doggerel. But I recorded it and uh, presented him with this record, which must exist somewhere. But if it does, it was published in an edition of one copy. It will be very, very scratchy. Nonetheless, um, it's the voice of a big Blackman fan, recorded 30 years ago. Behold Charles Blackman's work, where the art patrons, wise and rich, itch to pay large monies that they might own three square yards of masonry on which the aforesaid Charles did toil to decorate with coal and oil. What manner then of man is this whose light winks in the world's abyss? His physique? I'll describe it easily. He is the easel's scoby breezily. Like jockeys are, he's short and thinnish. Each picture is a photo finish. I know this image is too strong, but this part of my poem went a bit wrong. Of his dear friends, I'll mention two, without which a black man couldn't do. For Arthur Boyd and Sidney Nolan inspire young Charlie, a semicolon. Arthur paints brides in their newlywed clothes, but Charlie takes us under the bedclothes where slowly we descry the shapes of hands and noses, hats and napes, fingers and flowers, hanks of hair, caught in a subterranean flare. 